Welcome to my painting disaster. I just finished a painting and while I have all this stuff out, I'm gonna try again. So this is a 10 inch uh, MDF. I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out, if it's gonna come out before or after the video I just did. So I'm gonna show you the colors and I'm gonna try to do them as a bloom and I'm still trying to figure out what colors I wanna use as we speak. So I'm gonna use this intense teal as my pillow from Sherwin Williams. I was saying in the video I just recorded that I am so bad about buying these colors and being so excited about them and then not wanting to waste them and so they sit in my <laughs> shelf for, I mean, I've probably, not this color, I haven't had this color that long, but um, I've had some of my color to go samples in there for over a year, maybe two. And some of them I buy and I'm like, this color is amazing. And then I'm like, this is not really a great background color. Might be a good wall color, but maybe not be a great painting color, you know? And then some of them I'm like, oh, I want to use that on a negative space thingamajigger. And so I don't end up using it forever and then I'm like well I mean what did I buy it for if I'm just gonna like let it sit there you know so anyway it's a beautiful color um, if it shows it shows if it doesn't okay but color to go is kind of a nice consistency except for the white but like the colors usually especially the darker colors are a nice consistency for blooms and so the only thing that I find annoying is you kind of need to know in advance that you're gonna do them because you need to stir them up and um, they're the perfect size for using but the little handle I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about but the little handle this has bubbles in it by the way because I stirred it a little bit ago this handle right here so this is a perfect size right perfect size this handle the paint goes in here so you can stir this really nicely, but unless you kind of shake it, you can't get it out of here, which is kind of frustrating because you don't really want to shake your pillow paint. So, but other than that part, they're the perfect size to use and to decant your paint into because you can stir it really quick with a popsicle stick and easy peasy, right? All right, so I'm trying to decide if I want to use white or black cell activator. I cannot seem to make a decision. So I'm just going to kind of start painting and then we're going to see where we go. The cool thing about the color to go is if I don't do a good job with my blow and I get down into the pillow, it's not ugly, right? It's still pretty. So that's cool. It's not just like white nothingness. Um, so anyway, I'm a little rusty, so I need to practice. So while I had everything out, I decided no time like the present. So I'm going to use, I don't really know. Tough, stop that. Sorry, my dog's licking his feet. And it sounds gross for all of you. I have shadow green out, um, and even though that it's a little bit dark and kind of grayish, I think I'm gonna use it as my bottom layer. It also needs to be thinned out a little bit. So this may be a bad decision. So I'm just gonna swirl it a little bit down here because it is thick. Um, but it's probably not going to show, you know what I mean? So I'm just putting it down there and then I'm going to use some, let's see, this is London Blue from Color Art. This is a primary element in the fairy tales set. It has a little bit of a violet shift. It's lovely. I'm going to put a puddle of that down and um, then I'm going to use some blue black from Color Art. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit in the middle, but I'm probably also going to use this underneath my cell activator. And then we're gonna use some Poseidon blue because I haven't used it yet and it looks like a great color. My watch is making all kinds of noise over there. If you hear this random, bzz, it doesn't stay connected to the charger and then it makes this annoying noise. So this is 
Poseidon blue. It's beautiful. Okay. The shadow green is beautiful, but it does not really go with anything I'm doing over here. That's okay. It's at the bottom. It's not hurting anything. This is Alexandrite. Love this color. Okay. You can tell I really don't have a plan. I'm just kind of going with things here. And then this is... This is too thick, which makes me a little nervous, and I don't have any um, Josonian here. This is violets or blue. This is a bling it color from Color Art, and because it is thick, it's going to be difficult to blow out. So I'm just gonna put it in there, and this is Dolphin Stone. I really love this color. So we're going to bring this one up toward the top here and then we're going to bring back a little bit more of the Poseidon's blue. Whoa. And then um, some blue black and some cobalt aqua. So this cobalt aqua is too thick, so that might be a lie. I may not be using that. Yep, it's too thick to use. So that was a cute idea, but we're not gonna use it. Um, we're gonna use the blue black from Color Art. This is the fluid acrylics, so I love them. Don't forget, you can save 20% on anything from Color Art using Mandy1120. Um, the link and the code and all that is in the description box. I'm going to use um, White Cell Activator, which I mix with Australian Floetrol. Um, I do have a discount code for Australian Floetrol as well in the description box from Pixel Paint Designs using Mandy1120. You can save 10%. So. I need to go get my white cell activator and yeah that shadow green is beautiful but it doesn't go with any of this at all so give me just a sec all right so I'm using M gram titanium white I get it from Blick um, this is the black but this is what the tube looks like and I have a link to Blick also in the description box if you shop through our link it helps our channel and um, it's a little bit more expensive than Amsterdam, um, but considering cell activator lasts a long time, I think it's worth it. I like the small cells that you get, so that's why I like to use it. Um, and they they tend to hold their shape a little bit better, but for a more economical choice, Amsterdam works fine. I just prefer this one. So, okay. Um... A little rusty on my blow and the other day it was kind of a colossal mess so let's hope today is not gonna be one and the other day when I was doing it I kept running out of cell activator before I went all the way around the circle so I don't know if I was just too slow or what
Okay, it just happened again, which is super frustrating. Whoa, I'm dizzy. So, we'll see. It's still better than ugh, this part. That's what was happening to me the other day. I don't understand why that's happening. I thought I was doing better speed-wise, but it's like it's sinking in the middle. Uh, but I think I just reasoned through it. So my puddle is too dense, so I have too much paint in the middle. So And I can see it. There's like a mound of pillow paint right here. So what's happening is as I'm blowing, it's creating like rivers in the cell act, or not in the cell activator, in the paint. And that cell activator is trying to sink. So that's really what's happening. So, ooh, I did that to make more room for more cells, but I think I just messed up the middle even worse. Anyway, it's causing, um, it's causing issues because there's too much paint, but oh well, we deal with it, right? You can even tell that's true because there's a puddle of cell activator in the middle right now that's causing me some issues. And as I'm trying to break through those cells, let those cells come through, I'm messing up the composition all around it. So this may or may not be a fail, we'll see. It's still pretty. I've kind of decided that some of the things that I just don't like enough, I'm, instead of scraping them, I may just spray varnish them instead of resining them so that they don't completely have to die. Um, but I just really messed up that composition pretty bad. So let's see if we can't save it with a little bit of a swirly woos. Maybe distract from the colossal mess I just made in the center there. I think I just made it way worse. This may be, it may be okay, but it may be ugly, so I don't know. So I might be smart to do some whirlies kind of everywhere to make it look like I did it on purpose. It'll be our secret, you'll know. It was an accident, she wasn't trying to make it look like that. My husband frequently reminds me, though, that most people don't know what you're trying to do, so they'll still think it's pretty. You know, that's true. He's right. Okay, so spin, spin, spin. Ugh. It's kind of a mess, you know? What might be smart if, of me before I get all the pillow paint off, because this is going to be bothering me, the rest of it is beautiful though. So what might be smart is just don't put more pillow paint down, just redo the layers and go again. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of pondering that right now because if I just do this, I have a little bit more pillow paint in the center and it's like finger painting, you know? Sometimes you just have to embrace the chaos. Look at that. Pillow paint. It's also introducing bubbles, which is probably pretty dumb of me, but oh well. Here we are. Pillow paint. Still seems like there's plenty here, so if I were to... If I were to go again, do you think that I would have enough paint to go? I think so. Pick up some off the off the Duma Flinky. I think that's enough to move our design, don't you? We'll find out. I hate to waste this pillow paint, you know. So just picking it up playing it playing with my paint it's Friday you know it's been a week sometimes playing with paint is therapeutic so there we go 
I should just stop right now, spin it out, and call it a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to go again. All right. Still quite a bit of paint on. I think I'm going to skip some of those colors. I like the, the violets are blue. I do, but it's too thick. So until I can thin it out, we're just going to skip it. All right. So let's see. I'm going to put this uh, London whatever blue down on the bottom because it's similar. So if the color shows through, it'll be all right, you know. And that's going to give us some of that, uh, some of that violet shift. And then I just had the biggest brain fart. Oh yeah, we'll do a little bit of this, this Alexandrite color. Now this color is definitely more of a contrast than the other colors. So um, I don't want to overload it because it, it could take over. And let's do Dolphin Stone. Dolphin Stone is amazing. Okay. Poseidon blue. Such a pretty color. Let's do a little bit more of this London blue toward the top here. And then need to mix more blue black so I'm gonna put as much as I can right here I'm really uh, just living on the edge over here you know I don't know how this is gonna go all right let's see Where am I? Where are they? My bubble popper thingies. All right. All right, this time I'm gonna have a successful blow. Let's just all agree. I've had this, this is my third bloom. It's been a catastrophe. No, thank you. And I had kind of gotten this under control before, so getting a little frustrated. All right. Oh, that big bubble in the cell activator is a bad situation. Okay. happening again. Okay, it's still happening, so I didn't quite succeed, but let me see if I can catch my breath and catch it. Uh, I don't understand why that keeps happening there. I have not been having this problem for like the longest time.
But by the same token, I kind of know why it's happening. You know what I mean? Like, it is that there's too much paint there. I just don't quite understand why all of a sudden I'm struggling with this. So instead of trying to, like, make it work, I'm going to... try to get through the cell activator in the center that's kind of crazy and I don't know what's gonna happen you guys this is like anybody's guess you know what I mean so I do think we have enough paint to get to the edge I just I mean I hope so because look at the mess we have here I think we're just gonna have to spin it and see what happens, you know? Um, you can even tell, oh, ooh, some of it might be that my, some of my paint might be a little bit thin too because it's not holding its cell structure very well in the center. And the colors are great. I just need a win, you know what I mean? And it's, it's my fault, I, I just, don't understand why I'm having so much trouble with it. I'm trying to protect my paint where my hand is from spin off. Like it's really pretty. It's just funky cells right there. And part of me feels like if I come in here, well, that did not help. Trying to like somehow make this look less crazy. I don't know. Thankfully, it's not like a cradled wood board or something that's quite expensive. This is MDF. I mean, it's not cheap. Wood's not cheap in any shape right now, but it's not as expensive as things can be. But now, in order to redeem this, I gotta be able to get it to the edge. That's the problem we're gonna face. So my center looks a little crazy. Not everything looks crazy, but some of it does. Let's take off these gloves, at least this one. I mean, the colors together are amazing. This looks wild, not a fan, um, but I love the colors. So I'm on the right track with what I'd like to see, but this center just looks, uh, I don't like it. And it's my fault. Like I said, it's not, it's not the paint's fault. It's the artist's fault. But if I look at, if I stand back and look at the whole thing, I can live with it. So let's just see if we can't get somewhere, you know, let me get a different glove because that one is not good anymore, you know. And just kind of need a win. Um, I'm starting to question if my cell activator needs some tweaking because it's holding up nicely here where I didn't mess up, but it looks really crazy right here. And this is where pouring over it the way it was may be backfiring because we may not be able to get it to the edge. And so all of that stuff is showing underneath it. Now, we know that some of that was there before, but if you weren't in this party with us, you may not know that. So it may not be as obvious and I think it's still pretty. It's just not very pretty. This has too many colors in it. And I'm trying to think of a way that I could smooth that over. But it's not moving, so I don't know. 
like part of me wants to let it dry and just spray varnish it put it up for sale like that it, if the bloom was beautiful under resin it would be gorgeous so I don't know so part of me wants to let it live and part of me just wants to scrape it and go again like the part that bugs me I can't even point because my gloves are so dirty nope I'm not gonna risk it but the part that bugs me is over here And I don't have any more, I don't have enough blue-black mixed up to go again, if I were to go again. Uh, I don't know. Like, part of me doesn't hate it, part of me doesn't like it. I get tired of saving pieces that I don't like and then I just don't resin them. So I'm going to share it with you guys and then you can let me know what you think. Would you keep it? Would you scrape it? We'll see if by the time you answer, if I have already scraped it. But uh, let me bring you down for a close up. I'm not gonna bore you with another do over right now. I might do it over, but it'll be a different video. Um, but let me bring you down and then you can let me know what you think. What a mess, it looks like a flood zone. All right, so here it is. The colors are great. I mean, really, really great. Look at that Poseidon's blue and I mean they're beautiful I just I'm having so many issues with my blow I don't understand what I'm doing well I actually I know what I'm doing wrong but conditioning my brain to do it right is the problem but look at the center it's such a mess anyway thanks for practicing and playing along with me I know I will get my mojo back just have to be patient anyway thanks for watching everyone bye